If you like a vintage iron and wood aesthetic, you're going to want to check out this store of handcrafted custom furniture at the historic Cecil's Mill. Today, we're at Heron Creek Furniture. All right, guys, so we're at Cecil's Old Mill, and I'm here with Nancy Parker. Nancy, can you tell us a little history about how this all came to be? Yeah, so this is Herring Creek Furniture at the historic Cecil's Old Mill. Rob Seltzer owns and runs the business. He does all the custom furniture that you see in here, and then he brought in about 20 to 30 local artists to fill the space that kind of go with our vibe. Rob did a lot of restorative work. He tried to keep everything as original as possible. This is actually the original 200-year-old floor under our feet. Wow. With a few repairs. Sure. It was actually a sifting mill in its original position, and you can see wheels on the side, which lets you know that it was a vertical mill, so the belts ran this way. So originally, this was known as the Clifton Factory in the early 1800s. It was a textile mill run by water wheel. There's a creek in the back. When it was originally operating, it was steam powered and water powered, and they ground rain, they made flour, sold lumber, they shelled corn, and made cattle feed and all that. It was kind of like the hub of the county. They liked the water wheel for grinding feed and making flour because it was slow. They brought the engine down here and installed it, built the engine house on it. That took over powering the mill. Oh, this is a chute. So flour or grain might funnel down. So this was access to the chute. Hey, look at that. Nancy, again, appreciate the tour. If people want to find out a little bit more about the store, or where do they go? Facebook, Herring Creek Furniture. I really oh. appreciate it. Thanks for coming.